Hi, I'm Blair Dunlop, and we're here with Music Radar at John Orvie Turner at, in the heartlands of Camden to, um, to take you through some hybrid picking techniques um, on my Tanglewood TSM-1, um, which I like hybrid picking. Um, so basically hybrid picking is a happy kind of middle ground between finger picking and using a pick um, to kind of flat pick or to strum. Uh, and I found it very useful in, in certain songs um, where I, I want to get some kind of intricate picking part into a song but I also want to get a bit of power behind it where sometimes if I'm just purely finger picking, playing finger style uh, I don't have enough kind of power or the wherewithal to dig in a little bit more so I started hybrid picking a few years ago and I've, I've used it kind of increasingly as I find it a really helpful tool so hopefully this tutorial hopefully will make you understand it a little bit more. Um, I like to use a, a relatively firm pick um, just so that you can kind of pick each string with a little bit of um, with good separation um, but I don't tend to use um, a really 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 hard pick just because um, I like to get a, a kind of thwack and when, when, the, when the pick bends a little bit, I think it sounds quite nice on the, the, the strum chord. So I, I use a kind of like point seven three or whatever, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, and the process of hybrid picking is, is mainly um, picking primarily with you, with the pick between your thumb and your index finger as you would normally, but then using the bottom three fingers um, to kind of accentuate on the on your top strings. Um, in between the kind of rhythm that you're setting out with, with the, uh, the pick. So I'll show you basically what, how I do it. Um, I tend to mute here near the bridge and just get a very simple rock going between the E string and the D string. But um, we're gonna, I'm going to tune down to uh, drop D, which is a tune I'm sure that you're uh, familiar with, which is just down one step. So before we do anything else, I'll play you the excerpt of the song that I'm going to uh, show you the hybrid picking in, and um, yeah, um, if you can just pick up one or two techniques from this video, that'd be great. You don't have to be able to play the the whole uh, the whole section, but it's uh, it's from a song from my new album, Shameless Plug. Um, it's called No Go Zones, <laughs> and um, yeah, it goes like this. Okay, so um, the first thing uh, we should do is establish the rhythm. Um, so I'm going to be playing in drop D in D. Um, and I want to just establish this muting um, with this part of your hand. Just lightly towards the bridge and alternating between the bottom D, which is your E string, which we've gone down one step into drop D. And just play on that octave. So. Try and get it as smooth as you can. I always find it really hard to get it bang on, but you'll settle into it after a while. Um, and then throw a little little skip in there if you fancy, <laughs> or not, it's not imperative. But get nice and loose. Just that, and then we'll throw in the chords. So uh, I'm just gonna start on D. I'm gonna map out the chords here, and then we'll I'll show you the embellishments. Um, quite soon so So basically, that is the chord sequence for the song that we're going to show you from my upcoming album. And I'll show you some embellishments and how to kind of lay that down with the uh, incorporating the other fingers in just a moment. 
So the next thing to do once you've established uh, the groove that, that you're going to play um, is probably to add the, the embellishments um, uh, with these three fingers. Um, yeah, I'll go through the chord sequence and then just add in um, what I'm doing. I won't put everything that I'm, that I'm doing into here, but I'll go through the chord sequence and just do a simple repetitive pattern, um, kind of incorporating the two parts of the picking. And I'll try and go um, as slow as I can. Most of it's muscle memory, though, so uh, we'll see how we go. Um, okay, so the role that we're going to uh, use uh, as a kind of basis for, for this is um, starts with the, with the pick. Um, playing the D string, um, which is an E string that's gone down to a D on the bottom. And then you go up the octave to the normal D string with the pick again. And then you add in, we're going to add in these two fingers um, to play the last two notes in the roll. And they just play the uh, consecutive strings after that. So it's D on the bottom with the pick, D up there. And then you go to the G string with your middle finger. And then with your fourth finger, play your B string. And obviously this is a D chord at the minute. Um, so that would come out as... If we loop that. And I like to get into a slow kind of rhythm when I'm learning something. And then maybe speed it up after a while and you'll, you'll get into a rhythm of it, I'm sure. Um, so starting there... And then change the root. So that's kind of your basis, and we'll add a couple of embellishments in in a minute. Um, to the the thing that really um, helped me get into this technique, um, and and when I started doing this, the kind of my skill level at this technique kind of um, grew exponentially, was when I started um, syncopating the rhythms. Um, uh, and, and be trusting the chug that I would always come, you know, stay dead on. So this is almost kind of um, the drummer in, in in this instance for this technique is is your pick. Um, that is always got to be um, kind of rock steady. Um, for me, I'll I'll use the same chord sequence that, that we've been using for this song um, because it's it's uh, easy because we've established it. Um, but when I started syncopating with with um, these two fingers, that's when I knew that um, I could use this technique in in different songs and on stage. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'll play the same technique. Um, firstly, with the with the rolls that we've just done um, at the pace that I, I do the song, and then I'll show you. Um, what I do with these two fingers, I think the best way to do it is to just kind of play and you can see um, the kind of slight nuances and differences uh, that, that you get um, from, from doing it the two different ways. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, the exact same chord sequence but going to slow it right down um, uh, so you can concentrate on what I'm doing with my right hand uh, because this technique is obviously all in the right hand. Um, the left hand isn't going to change from the last thing I played with those constant rolls that we slowed down. Um, but I'm just going to, as I say, change it up a little bit with these two fingers um, so I can add a bit more character in my playing. Um, now the main thing before you start syncopating your rhythms is to make sure that the alternating Ds are like a, a train. <laughs> just um, That's really going to mess the tune up if, if you start... Um, kind of wavering on on that on that solid thing so even if you have to slow it down absolutely I, I learned by slowing it all right down um, but um, I think the embellishments generally come um, once you feel very comfortable in the alternating D so I'll uh, I'll yeah change it up a little bit with my right hand
Okay, so um, the the main thing uh, again, as as is always with the hybrid picking, is is that rock, uh, that kind of bass that you have going. And um, I was changing the rhythms a little bit on these two fingers, and and that's not in any way uniform. I don't have a scenario that I always go to. It's kind of, it changes from song to song, and, and it that's very much on feel, um, and and experiment and and find what works for you once you've once you've got um, the kind of basics down um, but I'll I'll play the uh, the kind of the arrangement of, of the intro of, of the song um, all the way through now and uh, the only difference really will be um, kind of in, in the left hand um, but I'll go through it quite slowly so that you can um, you can have a have a bash at it and um, yeah, you'll you'll probably pick up a couple of things from from playing this tune, um, and I hope this has been uh, helpful in some way. So that's um, most of the right hand covered, I would say. Um, so much of it is 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 feel and is is up to what what you think feels right. So long as you're keeping steady on those alternate um, D's that that kind of change with with the root. Um, yeah, for me, hybrid picking, uh, I I became decent at it just by sitting in my room. I listened to a lot of. What is uh, I listen to a lot of folks. I like the the finger style thing, but I wanted to yeah, like I said, I wanted to be able to dig in a bit more at certain sections. Um, so I just spent time looping what we've just looped and and then adding my own embellishments as we've just seen in the last segment. But I listen to a lot of people like Richard Thompson and um, yeah, there's there's kind of loads of people from that folk folk rock world that that experiment with it. Um, but for me, it was it was it was all about. Um, looping initially on the alternate Ds and then adding in your own embellishments and playing around chord sequences that work for you. You don't have to use drop D, you can use other tunings. Um, but yeah, it took a long time to, to get it down and that's, I think slowing it right down, slowing the rolls that we, we showed near the start of it right down over a certain chord sequence is the best way to kind of get um get steady with it and then you can move on to more uh complex stuff but it, yeah it took me a long time to get it i think I, I noticed an exponential growth after a certain point but i think the groundwork that went in just prior to that um would have taken a long a long time to get the technique uh down but um if i'll i'll, I'll show you how to play the uh, the full uh, kind of chord sequence the, the full kind of riff uh, as the intro to the song um, just so as it gives you something to work towards or something that you might already be able to play which would be flipping great that's been of use to you, of some use, um, and that you picked up at the very least um, maybe a good rehearsal technique for, for hybrid picking. Um, I love it, it's a technique that I'm genuinely passionate about, <laughs> so so go away and practice it, I think it's uh, underused and I think it's, it's very fun to play, so I hope you all have a lot of fun with that. Um, 
Yeah, it's been my first ever tutorial. I've watched a lot on YouTube and it's harder than it looks, so props to all of you out there making good tutorials on YouTube. I'll take my hat off to you. Um, so, uh, yeah, my, my new album's out, uh, Gilded. You can, you can get it on all good retailers if you can find one that's still in business. Um, and um, definitely look out for the summer edition of Guitarist Presents Acoustic Magazine because they're giving away uh, some of my albums and giving away um, three Tanglewood Crossroads guitars. So you should definitely get on that because I love my Tanglewood and I'm sure you'd love yours if you won one. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for, for watching and um, thanks to Music Radar for, for sorting this out. It's been a lot of fun. And have a good summer of hybrid picking.